always want to go and see things for myself. That's why I ended up uh, during the famine in Ethiopia. That's why I ended up uh, in Central America during the uh, problems there in Salvador and, and uh, in El Salvador and, and even in Nicaragua. You know, I just, I tend to, I just want to go. I just want to see it for myself. And, and then I have, but I, and I see things that I, are very hard to explain. And that words, perhaps, if I was a better writer, maybe I could just write, uh, 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 you know, journalism. But I'm blessed because I'm part of the U2 group, and they're really good. <laughs> I mean, they have an ability to express inexpressible thoughts. And when I explained to Edge what I'd been through um, in El Salvador, he was able to, with a nod to Jimi Hendrix, actually, try and put some of that fear and and uh, and, and loathing um, into his guitar solo, and we we, we, we strapped my feelings um, to the, to the song "Bullet the Blue Sky." I'd been there. I was there was a, a American movement that were. It was actually wonderful people who was, were offering um, um, solace to refugees from the, from, from the war in, in El Salvador. And, and I was with one of those groups visiting. Uh, it was just a few of us. And we went out into the hills. And maybe that was irresponsible. I don't know. Because we were in the middle of, of a war zone. And... Uh, I don't think it was it was that dangerous where we were. There was some a few some shots fired over our heads and things like that. It's very you know, shooting the sound of of, of gunfire is out in the open when you're not in close streets is is very unromantic. It's like spitting. It's like <laughs> I've been shot at a few times as it happens, but um, I think this was the first, and well, I was the first, and. But we just walked on. There were just soldiers um, um, playing with us, really. I don't think they had any dark intentions. But in in the hillside uh, across the way, they were bombing, firebombing these villages. They tell them to, you know, to, to get the the um, to, to get the paramilitaries out of there, uh, they were, then they, they would torch the place. And just, I remember the ground shaking, and I remember the the, the smell of of I suppose being near a war zone. I really don't think uh, we were in, in in any danger. I don't want to exaggerate that, um, but I knew the lives were being in danger or being lost close to us, and I felt for them. And and I, it upset me as a person who read the scriptures to think that that Christians um, in America were supporting this kind of thing, this kind of uh, um, proxy war because of these communists. Uh, I did actually, you know, as, as I was walking in the same trip, I did see a, a, a memorable piece of graffiti. It said, fuck Jesus. And I went, ooh, that's a bit strong, is it? Uh, and they said, no, 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 that's, that's just Jesus. He lives around the corner. <laughs> so, but I did, it did bother me that, uh, that this, you know, this was being sanctioned by religious people and the brutalizing of this movement, um, this communist movement. I was not a communist, but I felt it was wrong. And so I used the language of the scripture to describe the situation. In the howling wind comes a stinging rain. See him driving nails into souls on the tree of pain. Uh, from a firefly, a red-orange glow. See the faces of fear running, scared in the valley below. Out the blue sky. In the locust wind comes a rattling hum. Jacob wrestled the angel, and the angel was overcome. 
and uh, <clears throat> and then I had a, a character who this guy comes up to me, his face red like a rose on a thorn bush, like all the colours of a royal flush. And he's peeling off those dollar bills, slapping them down, paying for the war. And he in my head at the time was Ronald Reagan. And and I I had it. Look, I had a, I had a, I, I had not a sophisticated understanding of, of of what was going down. I just I just I I had a nonviolent as a student of nonviolence, I had a I was having a violent reaction to what I was witnessing. And I was interested in the time in liberation theology, which was people were reinterpreting the scriptures to their own um, specific situations. So you go into a church, in liberation theology uh, church, and you'd see the flight from from Egypt would be painted and portrayed, and instead of Pharaoh, it would be like Ronald Reagan. And this, this might have been a little simplistic, but um, that's where I was coming from for Bullet the Blue Sky. You asked, I told you. <laughs>